Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca's Doing the Crew. Today we're going to be making a cell phone case. So I always like to keep my cell phone covered in an otter box because I drop my phone a lot. And so um, I already decorated the big uh, cell phone case, so I went and had this extra cell phone case. So I was going to go ahead and decorate this because I had a subscriber request to see how I decorate my cell phone cases. So all of these have been purchased from Hobby Lobby. So I purchased all of these Paper Studio um, gems, which are over by the scrapbooking materials. And this is what you're going to need to um, decorate your case with. So it's really easy. I do this all the time and I use E6000 glue. And when I get sick of it, I just peel it off and I start over. And it really does not damage the case at all. You can even use a little bit of... Um, Goo Gone to help loosen up the old glue to help peel the, um, you know, the decorations off. So the first thing I do is I take my sheet of gemstone stickers, which are all connected together. And it is, uh, you know, has sticky stuff already on the back. And what I do is I just line it up where I'm going to want it at. And I'm just kind of like measuring or counting how many rows over that I'm going to need. And then when I figure out kind of where I want it, as you can see, when I crease it over, you can kind of see like it's really easy to just trim right along the edges, which is why I like these gemstones, which are in the solid sheet with the adhesive already on the back. So the excess that we cut off here, we're going to use for the top of the cell phone case. So I'm, I figured out how far I need to cut this. So I just cut this off and then make sure that it's going to fit. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure, you know, where I need to cut for the top of this. So all I do is I kind of just eyeball it. I put it up here and I figure out that I'm going to need about two more rows to get around the camera. And then I'll have to figure out how many rows past the camera that I need to cut out just to make sure that it, you know, isn't covering that so I can still use the camera on this phone. So once I kind of got it all cut into shape, which was pretty easy, I just peel off the little, um, protective film from the back of the stickers and then I use my E6000 glue to put that um, you know just to make sure it's going to stick and stay because you know I carry my phone kind of everywhere with me so I like to have the extra glue and then I just slide this over and cover all of the um, you know decoration that's already on the phone. So I purchased these um, otter boxes actually at um, Five Below a couple of months ago and um, I thought they would be perfect to kind of do a video with. So as you can see, these gemstones are really easy to cut. So I kind of round off the corners so that it looks more made to fit for this phone. Because, you know, with the square edges, it just kind of looks like it was slapped on there. I just think that when you cut around the edges a little bit to round it off, it really makes it look like it was just part of the phone or that I purchased the case this way. So um, for this part, I just went ahead and put the E6000 glue right on the case. And then I put that on there and just slid it into place and, you know, made sure it was dry for a few minutes before I went ahead and decided to put the letter R on my case. So again, this was the Paper Studio and I just um, purchased this pre-gemstone letter and used my E6000 glue to glue that on. And then I took this little um, rhinestone borders and I just kind of played with it a little bit and figured out where I wanted the curly cues to kind of go. And then I cut those to size and I just kind of built it up. So instead of just doing one little line of the curly cues, I cut little of, um, of the curls off and just kept putting them on to kind of fill in the space until I had it the way that I wanted it. And all in all, this whole cell phone case to um, create took me only about, I want to say 20 minutes. And that was with kids, you know, coming in and out, asking me questions and, you know, stuff like that. So I just kind of, you know, put it all together. And this is what it looks like finished. So I hope you guys like this. It was really easy to do. And I hope you create one for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and like this video if you liked it. And thank you so much for watching.